I'm up nice and early because there's something very important on its way on a wagon and it's very expensive. Just brushing the floor because I don't want to get it dirty. Put it in this shed here. That's better now, all swept out. It's here. There we go, urea. So there's, I don't know, 2,000 pounds worth on the fork already, on the grab. The, not the grab, the bag lifter, the Cherry Products bag lifter. It's quite handy lifting with this, whereas the pallet forks, that green bit in the top of the boom, it'd be trying to hit the hit the top of the curtain side of the wagon. Merlot's bleeding at me because I'm going up a hill, and it doesn't, it thinks it's going to tip up. So I need to pull the boom in a little bit. Calm it down a bit. It's got a um, 2.4 ton on and it's stretched out quite far, you see. But yeah, the um, the pallet forks, because they always they sit like lower than that frame, then that meant that that green bit used to be hitting the, like the knuckle on the top of the boot used to be hitting the top of the curtain side of the cab uh, roof. Because with this, it doesn't. It's not quite as good a visibility this thing now as it is the pallet forks though. So that's a third of what I've ordered in the first dose of fertilizer, and then the rest will be made up of liquid. So this year it costs 540 pound a ton and I have to get it in 600 kilo bags, not, not a thousands, which I prefer. And then also, last year it cost, I think, 270 a ton. No, actually, I think it was 280. Let's move the cherry picker around for the cherry picker. On that button because it's not working inside the, the basket. Park it in the shed out of the way. Put it back to the basket. In the paint shop, looking at this, and apparently the only thing that's wrong is it just needs some rubbing down and just some more lacquer. There's just not enough lacquer on it, so that's pretty good. It's salvageable and we don't have to start again. I get all a good job. Someone's blocked the toilet up upstairs at Brook House and there's someone moving in at three o'clock. So we've got a five hour churn around and the toilet's knackered. It was a big job. We needed the Merlot to unblock it. No, actually, Andrew's just come up to get some rubbish because we don't have a big skippy thing here, so we have to take it back to the one at the offices. And um, anyway, luckily, when I got here, they'd unblocked it. Annika and, and I've forgotten his, the other guy's name, John, I think, that helps her. He got a stick and unblocked it. So I've got to come back up with some logs because I forgot them for the hot tub. I said this before, it might be small, but it's picked that up and it's two and a half ton. I lifted it on the wagon. Yeah, Nick's had that crusher bucket on higher. And he was coming back, so he wanted, he wanted to lift it on. So I went round on a little Merlot, and the guy's like, that won't lift that on here. I was like, yeah, it will. He went, no, it weighs two and a half tons. I was like, yeah, it will, because this weighs, this picks up 2.7. Anyway, lifted it up, no problem. Put it on his wagon, it's on his way. Lots of people were concerned the other day because I threw this nail back, the, oh, well, yesterday, off the roof that I was going to get a puncher. Well, it was right in the corner of that shed, so if you get a, a puncher in the corner of that shed, basically knock the shed down with the front of the tractor or whatever the telly on there but also as well i didn't want to put it in my pocket and climb back into the cherry picker battery basket and get stabbed or i didn't also want to carry it in my hands because i wanted both hands to grip to the basket as i climb back in off the roof so for health and safety reasons i threw it off the top of the shed but i've got it now and it's going to go in the bin also there was loads of advice yesterday about not putting big tires on the back and not matching it to the front because you can wind the diff up well, that's correct, yeah. But it doesn't put itself in four-wheel drive under braking this tractor. I've tried it this morning. I flew forwards, jumped on the brakes, and it only locks the back wheels up. So it would only damage it if you put it in four-wheel drive. But realistically, you would match the front wheels to it as well. So the, radi the ratio of both front and back wheels match as it is now. Uh, I don't know yet. I'm going to mess around with the tractor first because when I drove it this morning, it was struggling for fuel. So I think it's a bit like all the other tractors. The stud and the, you get a bacteria now in the diesel. So we need to clean the tanks out on this and then see how it goes, see how quick it goes then before we worry about whether we need to put bigger wheels on it or not, see if we can get it up to track to run speed. Andrew's just backing the low loader up. I'm going to weld that pin on the back that's snapping off. Not been doing any painting today, so I'm going to have a go with this. Go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on. I'll do. Whoa. 
See it. Oh, it's that one. <laughs> it's just cracking around there now. So we'll hammer it straight and weld it up. If we grind that up now with a new peanut grinder and then ratchet that that way, hopefully it'll shove that square, then we'll weld it in. Give it a tap now with the hammer. Just welded that side now, all the paint's burnt. I'm gonna take this off now and then we'll weld, grind around that side. Look at that, good as a robot. Might do a little bit, oh no, I don't need it. That's where it started, went that way, and that's where it started, went that way. But I think that's penetrated now more than the last weld. Just need some touch up paint now. Couldn't find a paintbrush, so I've painted it with a rag. But hopefully, do not rust now. Seems to have a problem on the fast track now. It doesn't want to select forwards or reverse. I wonder if it's because the battery's been off while I've been welding. Yeah, when I started it before, it cut out straight away and then I restarted it, but it didn't want to do anything. Right. We're running, it's just telling me the handbrake's on. Right, let's take the handbrake off. Put it in forwards. There we go, it's staying in now. So I don't know what that meant, it just threw a bit of a wobbler. And we're off. We had this on this morning because Andrew's been taking straw to the riding stables because they were short of straw. And then we were trying to get this whole sort of bay empty, but they couldn't take any more in. So it'll take some more next week or we might move some across the other side of the yard. And then that way then we can get the combine and the header and the baler and the drill all in there out of the way so we're not moving in and out of doorways and in and out of grain sheds and stuff. They can all fit in there and with it being like light and airy because it's got no sides on it. I know it's got straw sides at the moment. And that way then you don't get rats living in there because they don't like it because they, they like it when they're enclosed and no one can attack them. Whereas if it's all light and airy, the cats or predators and birds and stuff can get at them. So that's why we like keeping the combine there and the baler. We got some reindeers arrived for Brook House. I don't know whether the snow will come with them, but they're uh, two meters tall. I don't know how they fitted in that box. I wanted to try and get this done today, but I've just run out of time, been on the phone, sorting out a bit of the paperwork to the track to run as well. I think we've got over 75 entries so far, so the rest then will be on, on eBay. But if some people just want to, still want to carry on emailing in, We'll see what we can do because some of them are kind of like just penciled in because we've not got all the details correct so it's still no harm in, in, in trying to get a space before we then put the rest to option if anyone's interested just realized got a slight issue with putting the bateman on wider wheels i want to spray that winter sorry not winter barley so it's summer barley off so that we can then combine it hopefully when it's frosty weather when it's drier atmosphere because the frost obviously freezes the water so it's dry and you can combine it like a summer's day and then we will bring it back here and probably have to dry it on the drying floor but when i go through with these wire wheels i'm going to flatten quite a bit of it down and i don't want to put the row crops on just for 20 acres and chris and danny have still got narrow wheels on the earth spray but it's only 24 meter so i'm thinking that i'll just have to sacrifice a bit and go through with this a couple of times anyway loads of birthdays today like loads and loads it's james Trafford's birthday emily mckelly's birthday i think she's 30 and apparently a, bo a boyfriend said he's punching above his weight going out of there. It's also Harry Clark's birthday. That's the guy that makes the Shelton draining machines and sells them. It's his son's birthday as well. And also Mr. B, which is a guide dog that watches the videos, is five. And also Niall's birthday as well. So there's absolutely loads today. Um, busy time of year for birthdays. This is the wheat at the back of the yard now. We've probably got, I don't know, 80% ground cover off the wheat now. Let's till it out and it's nearly touching in the middle which is pretty good considering it's 25 centimetre rows. So I'm quite pleased with that. Nice sunset behind me. I'm just walking out to turn the gas gun off because there's something wrong with it. It's not going off at night. So we just keep unplugging it, keeping the pigeons off the remaining sunflowers. Before I forget as well, Robin, who did the brakes on the 1455, he really wants a Maxim. I think he should buy a Magnum, but he wants a, a, a Maxim 5140 or 5130 to, to sort of do up. Because when he was a kid, that was a big tractor and that's what he wanted. But 
I think a Magnum was an even bigger tractor when he was a kid and I think that's what he should buy. So I don't know, maybe we'll have a little bit of a vote, see whether Robin should buy a Maxim or a Magnum, because a Magnum is nearly cheaper than Maxims and they just look even better because they're on huge wheels. We'll leave a comment, see what he should buy. But if anyone knows of anything mint like that or a Maxim, let him know. Sunset overload. Amazing. These sunflowers now are ripening off. You see a few have been falling over with the wind, but the green, the leaves are still as green as grass. Now we used to have a spray that we could go through that, through them called Reglone, which would basically make them go crispy in about 24 hours, but we're not allowed to use that anymore. So the only thing we could do is round up it. You can see where they've blown over in the wind. And they're actually going flat. So they're not going to be salvageable at all. So. I don't even know whether we'll combine them. Hopefully they'll ripen green enough to go, stop being green enough to go for the combine, but I'm not so sure really. And there might not be any left because I think it's getting windy the later on in the week. If the pigeons and the crows hadn't have thinned them out and they'd have grown as thick as we planted them, they wouldn't have fell over because they'd have all protected each other. But because they're thinning places, especially at this headland here, they're just falling over. But that was probably the hers actually coming out of that hedgerow, that other field. But could do with getting a drone over really see what it looks like because you'll see them all scattered with it blown over that's probably it for today i've uh, got a meeting to go to for the monitor farm steering group tonight a uh, bit of a slow day i think feel today other than my fertilizer driving not been doing a great deal been on the computer phone different things like that and also sam's been off so we've not managed to finish doing that that lacquering and painting uh, christine's not so well as well so hopefully she gets better soon but yeah leave a comment magnum or maxim for robin and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, if you want to watch another video, stay subscribe, it's there. And if you're a new subscriber, tell me where you're watching from. I'll see you tomorrow.